This is part two of our interview on public affairs for international news media with Emily Nocerale, who is the president of the Philippine Council of Management. So I'd like to continue on with some of the questions I asked earlier. How diverse is your organization and how big is it in the Philippines? And do you have any plans uh, in the future to have it uh, also organized abroad? Actually, our organization is very diverse because we have a lot of from different, different fields from academe, from business, and from other institutions. And then all the uh, board of trustees, they came from di different fields. We have engineers, we have investors, we have inventors, investors uh, from uh, the Taipans, and uh, we usually have the different management, we do conduct the management man of the year and our management man of the year were Lushitan, uh, Dr. Ben Santos, the zero waste management, the number one inventor and the chairman of the Philippine Inventor Society. We have uh, Dr. Chua, Francis Chua, the uh, formerly president of the Philippine Chamber of, uh, Philippine Chamber of Commerce in the Philippines. Uh, we have a lot of, and then our latest management woman of the year is uh, Miss China Sarabia Espinosa, who was the jeweler, the well known jeweler in Iloilo City and well known for its jewelries. And uh, our latest uh, activities were the, we sponsored the trade mission here in the US, in New York, in Washington, D.C., and in Virginia to the Fairfax. So right now I'm here in U.S. Uh, delving with some other organizations. So how could we promote and how could we help our fellow Filipinos, especially in trade and investment here, because the trade mission we conduct before is the trade and investment mission, together with the promoting of the Hablon in Iloilo. So what do you think have been the most important accomplishments of your association? The most important accomplishment is here, the trade mission. And also in the Philippines, we are uh, doing the training and the consultancies with different companies regarding their management from strategic planning to operations management to total quality management, internal ISO, and there we could help some companies. So how do you see the future 2019 and beyond for your association? For me being a one-term president only, I could see that the Philco Bond would strive hard, not only in the, Philippi in the Philippines, and I would like to bring Philco Bond here in the U.S. and partner with different organizations, and especially bring here the different uh, products of the towns and then especially for business different products like for me in Iloilo I would bring the hablon here and then the designers to compete globally and internationally here. Well that's wonderful would like to wish you good luck in your administration as a president at the same time this is your opportunity to give a message to people around the world perhaps with their ancestry from Iloilo. Okay. Thank you all the people in the world. Uh, I would like to introduce the Philippine Council of Management which was started in uh, 1954 but it is not so well because before we were very active in the Marcos era because we were previously the think tank of the government and then it was hibernated and then we have again to revive the Philippine Council of Management with the different uh, men and women at the back of it, the different board of trustees and their different, uh, different, uh, what you call this, different educations. They are in different academies and different fields. And I hope we could uh, bring it all and then have some. Okay, some plans and how could we help, especially we, want, we wanted to help the government being the think tank of it so that we could use also our knowledge and skills to help the government of the Philippines and how to improve the 
leadership of the government and then how to do the uh, what you call this how the how could we love our own and deepen the culture of love of to be a patriotic and to uh, get out from the graft and corruption and then the that is what you call this that is the Philippines they see you here as I traveled in the different world I could see that if you say the Philippines oh it is a graft and corrupt uh, Fill a graft and graft country, and sometimes you could see it that uh, they in the different uh, 